Hi, uh, my name is Vinay and in this video let us learn how to migrate a repository from one domain to another in Informatica Power Center 9.6. So, uh, the conventional way of backing up a repository from one domain, uh, transferring it to the other domain node and then restoring still works as is. Uh, this video is more aligned uh, along the lines of disaster recovery so uh, let's say you have a production environment uh, which goes down and you need to bring the repository on the disaster recovery environment so how do you do that is what this video will teach here uh, coming to admin console I have uh, two environments here two admin console rather uh, with two different domain if you see uh, let's call this as the production domain and this as the disaster recovery domain uh, so basically I need to move this repository onto the disaster recovery in 9.6 environment so how do you do that disable this repository service in your production uh, make sure the connect string is pointing to the correct oracle schema the username password is copied here correct the tsor 10 11g2 the username password are used in the disaster recovery you need to have the same repository name as well and then you bring up the service in 9.6 it doesn't go through fine the reason being uh, it throws an error saying the repository uses an encryption key that is different from encryption key of the domain upgrade the repository content to use the encryption key for the domain so what this means in 9.6 uh, at the time of installation there is a keyword that is provided uh, which is used to encrypt all the metadata of that entire domain and its services so in your production environment when you installed the informatica services you have provided a site key that is different from the one used in disaster recovery so how do we resolve this now let us see so let me log into informatica server machine um, this is where the services are currently running my production box I would say let's say I have the site key by in which is here this is my disaster recovery environment and the site key is stored in uh, ISP config secret directory in order to find where the secret directory is stored or the site key is stored you can always do a cat on node meta xml file and it will tell you the directory where the site key is created ok back to uh, bringing up the repository or encrypting the metadata with the new domain so so in this directory is my existing site key I need to uh, make sure the new repository that's being added to this domain is encrypted with this site key how do you do that so I go back to this server where the site key for the production is exists and then FTP it uh, in order to save time I have already FTP'd it and it's in my home directory ok under a directory called site key site keys so 
this is the side key of my production server right now I have FTP to my disaster recovery so what I do this do now is to rename this side key rename to site key underscore old and copy it to the secret directory Okay, now the site key f from the production is copied to the disaster recovery. So disaster recovery already has a site key here and uh, production server site key is copied as site key underscore old. This is the exact way that th the naming convention and the directory should exist. Uh, it should be site key for your existing domain site key and site key underscore for the one where you are going to decrypt the metadata information from let's go back and let's see if uh, if I try to disable and enable the service what happens now the administrator or login and there you go the repository is now decrypted and encrypted with the new site key of the disaster recoveries set up okay. so we have seen all the steps how to migrate power center repository from one domain to another uh, so where can you find much information on this you can refer to KB161874 uh, which basically provides the same steps in text format for this uh, thank you for watching this video uh, we would love to hear from you you can send us your feedback at support videos at informatical.com and also tweet on twitter.com slash infosupport thank you